rib cage, all right? Your rib cage shape is like this. So the angle of the rib cage is just wide. No big deal, I see it all day long, okay? That takes these abdominal muscles, these obliques, and puts them in a disadvantaged position. This part of the upper sternum, this little bone called the manubrium, is up like this, and this part is down like that. Can you see how that's taken this and stretched it out? Mm -hmm. Can you appreciate that? So when you inhale, these go wide that much more every time you're inhaling. As you exhale, this is being pulled down by this one muscle here. That's further separating those ribs. Does that make sense? It has also taken and compressed the upper back so that you expand really well here now, but you don't expand up well here. So you're coming, inhaling up there, not here. You're inhaling down here and back here too much. We got a mismatch. We have to be able to get you to inhale into this upper part of your rib cage back here, okay? Where you don't have any. And we have to really make sure that you have, in your exhalation, you're blowing out more air, that your exhale goes. <sighs> And you hold this shape with these muscles on, so the next inhale goes more. Evenly in all directions, because that's jamming your spine down below, which is making those vertebrae vulnerable. Does that make sense? We'll give you the activities to do it, but I want to put that image in your head as to what you need to kind of yeah. think about and accomplish so while we do it. Okay?